Well, an innovation ecosystem has several components. So you typically have the, the, uh, the, the public sector that creates and has the policies necessary for, for, for an ecosystem to foster. And it's where people uh, cre can create wealth that improves the lives and uh, the economies of others. So you have uh, the businesses that have been created or that are innovating. You have the uh, scientists, the research uh, part also of it, and obviously the economy and the markets. An innovation ecosystem is the right environment where innovation can grow, can flourish. And that, in that ecosystem has to have some key elements. The first one is talent people wanted to innovate, people with the right talent. Secondly, uh, of course, capital to do that. Uh, thirdly, uh, of course, the, the, the support of government and, um, the, and, and also the leadership of the private sector. And how it works is that you start to create an innovation and that innovation creates opportunities. Those opportunities create more demand for innovation. So it goes again to the first uh, step and that demand for innovation of course creates more innovation that creates more products or services innovating and so it is like an ecosystem. People tend to think in innovation as, as uh, disruption, as the next next big technology around uh, that will change the world and that is innovation but it's a little bit of innovation. The innovation is much larger uh, the, the definition we use is that innovation is a new way of things uh, that make things better, that has value, uh, as different from invention. Invention is coming up with a new idea, the idea that may or may not work. But innovation is a new idea that works and that works in a, some sort of market. So it can be actually be a part of a business of, or, or a practical application. That's innovation. It's very important because it then encompasses things that, that not only the most brightest minds or the, the, the most sophisticated laboratories or, or larger corporations can do, but it encompasses what, what the small business or, 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 or the small startup or, or, or the medium uh, enterprise here and there can actually accomplish. Latin America, as other regions, has its challenges. Uh, and also, in compare, if you compare specific uh, countries with equivalent uh, countries in other regions in terms of GDP size, we have lots of challenges, but we have particular local ecosystems that ha where innovation has, be has been fostering. You can find that in Argentina, you can find that in Brazil, you can find that uh, in Mexico, Colombia, Peru, anywhere in the region. Uh, it, is, it is Latin America is falling behind because uh, we've made so many mistakes. The first one is, is doing copy and paste of what happens in successful ecosystems such as the Silicon Valley. And we've learned that copy and paste is not valid anymore. We have to create our own systems the, because the the skills of innovation in Latin America are different. The, the triggers and, and also the drivers of innovation of our people in our culture are different. So we have to create our own system. The region is behind when it comes to uh, innovation. Uh, so if the, if the question is where, where is the region in terms of science, technology, science, technology, innovation is behind. That is shown in uh, the amount invested, both by the private and the public sector, is shown in the outcomes, yeah? in business outcomes, and also in terms of ideas, patenting, licensing, all those indicators are, are way behind. Having said that, there are many uh, you know, trends going in the right direction. I think that is becoming a priority both for the public and private sector. So there are reasons for optimism. In order for innovation, innovation to foster in Latin America, we need the public sector to continue creating uh, better policies that uh, allow innovation to happen faster. We need to reg the government also to deregulate those uh, ecosystems. And we also need the, the private sector to, be, to participate much more, to realize that the world is changing exponentially. And if it's basically, it's not a choice. You, we need to innovate. Uh, basically, three items that we lack of in Latin America. The first one is leadership of the private sector. The second item is talent. We need talent big time. And that's a problem not only in Latin America, but the rest of the world. And, and uh, the third item we, we need is to really 
strengthen the, the creation of those ecosystems, especially uh, massifying the concept that uh, we need to move in that direction of creating entrepreneurs in Latin America, but not to export, not to sell products or services to the U.S., because the big opportunities are within our own region, with our market. And, and basically what we have to do is create a single market for Latin America. My dream is to have a Latin America single digital market. Uh, for innovation to make progress in Latin America, uh, I think that, that uh, what is now uh, a sort of, a, uh, I would say, uh, uh, a consensus of a specialist, of the converted, no, you, you have both some people in the private sector and the, in the public sector that already have incorporated the idea that innovation is not only about having you know, fancy technology, it's about development, it's about economic growth, it's about sustainability. Uh, that needs to become a priority for top decision makers, for ministers of finance, you know, for the, the, the mainstream business community. And we are, I don't think we are not there, but uh, I think things are going in that direction. Uh, Silicon Valley Latin American uh, Fund, it's a venture capital fund that was born in Silicon Valley with a unique focus on Latin America. We want to invest and we are already investing in the uh, companies in the region that have the potential to grow and scale and become uh, global companies. We do this in different sectors where we see the potential in the region. Uh, we do it in biotechnology, uh, medical devices, software, uh, robotics, new materials. The, the sectors that are more dynamic in Latin America overall are the ones that have to do with internet, mobile and services overall. But then if you look at specific uh, local ecosystems, there are opportunities in other sectors in uh, different countries. L for example, Argentina has produced great uh, Nobel, Nobel, Nobel Prize uh, winners in uh, biological sciences. Mexico also has uh, uh, one of the a Mexican scientist who was Luis Miramontes, is one of the co-inventors of the main ingredient of the contraceptive uh, peel. So there is potential in different sectors and uh, even though our science is small for the, for the size of our economies. Colombia's success is based on solving the Colombian problems with technology. Not wanting, Colombia doesn't want to be a champion in technology, no. Colombia wants to be a champion on solving Colombian problems with technology. And the single most important problem of Colombia is poverty. And part of its success is that we are focused on reducing poverty with technology. Well, the role of the Inter-American Development Bank in, in, in innovation policy is first is, is a supportive role. So, so w w w in a way, we are a demand-driven organization and, and, and a lot depends on what the, the national priorities are in each country. And they will tell you, or us, you know, this is important, support us with this. Once they say that, and it's, it's becoming very frequent, I think we are in a, in a way in a booming business in that area in Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, once they say that, there are two very general things that we do. One is, of course, financial support. We, we, we plan along with the national authorities investment programs, loans, that support an area that needs a lot of investment. And at the same time, technical assistance. So we, have, we do a lot of what we call knowledge work, that means research on innovation policy, what works, what doesn't work, uh, effectiveness of different kinds of programs, what is being done around the world, what are the best practices, and we try to share that with the governments when they say that it's a good idea to share. Something very, very important for, for Latin America, that's not the characteristic of, uh, of the U.S. in general, particularly Silicon Valley, is to not be afraid of failure. I mean, we actually need to go through the learning experiences of a failure in order to become successful entrepreneurs and successful investors.